Syringomyelia is a disease that, and, and Chiari is in there as well, but <clears throat> Syringomyelia in particular is a disease that is identified when cysts are formed inside the spinal cord. And the reason why it is so complicated as a disease is because the spinal nerves can be damaged as well as the spinal cord. And when this occurs, uh, you can have symptomology arise in many areas of the body. You can have cardiovascular complications. You can have trouble breathing. You can have your gastrointestinal system affected, your urinary system, um, your ability to walk, talk, cognition. Um, it's a multifaceted disease and that is why it is dire that all specialties in medicine understand the role that they have in treatment of the disease. Uh, they don't have to understand the rare disease in total necessarily, but they need to understand what their role is in regards to uh, management of the complications of the disease led by the neurosurgical team. Okay. And can the neurosurgeon remove the cyst? No, the, there are procedures such as shunting that can help to shrink them. Um, there's procedures such as decompression if the patient has Chiari malformation. Um, there's another procedure that's being done in Barcelona, Spain, um, where the phylum terminal, which is a ligament, is cut and actually decreases tension on the cord, which in turn can shrink the syrinxes and uh, aid in the Chiari uh, malformation um, and herniation. That's something that's being looked at even further because of its success in Spain. Um, so we're very excited to explore uh, updated uh, techniques and, um, and approaches that will uh, benefit the patient with uh, less hospital stay and less complications. As a nurse, it is important to me to advocate for patients so that they don't necessarily have to spend so much money on a procedure uh, and they don't have to necessarily spend as much time in the ICU if it's not necessary. So we need to consider all of the uh, latest innovations um, and see what we can do to, to be strong patient advocates. Again, that's our focus. Our mission is education, but we do a lot of focus on patient advocacy in our teaching uh, with medical professionals and the patient organizations and, and communities. That's our, that's our focus.